Welcome to our channel, where we simplify neuroscience for you in just a few minutes. How can we see details like a fly moving across the room? And did you know your eye has a blind spot too? Let's find out. The retina is a thin layer of tissue that lines the back of the insides of our eyeballs. It's actually considered to be an extension of the brain and is formed embryonically from neural tissue. It's connected to the brain proper via the optic nerve. Our retinas contain millions of cells that perceive light, color, and fine details into things we see around us. It processes light through a layer of light-sensitive photoreceptor cells located at the very back of the retina. The retina then processes the information gathered by these cells and transmits them to the brain through the optic nerve. In simple words, it processes a picture from the focused light that enters the eye, and then the brain is left to determine what the picture is. Rods and cones, which are the two photoreceptor cell types, are differentiated structurally by their unique shapes and functionally by their sensitivity to different kinds of light. Rods are prominently found in nocturnal beings and are the most sensitive to reduced light intensities. In humans, they aid in visual orientation and help us see in the dark. Cones predominate in humans and other beings that are active during the day. They provide detailed vision and color perception. The more cones we have, the finer are the details that can be discriminated by that area. With rods outnumber cones in our retina, cones are concentrated at two sites. This pit at the rear of the retina called the fovea centralis, which is our point of sharpest focus, and this circular patch of yellow pigmented tissue called the macula lutea, which helps you the smallest details right in front of you, like text in a book. So what happens when light enters our eye through the cornea and lens? The rods and cones have light-sensitive molecules called photopigments, which react to specific light wavelengths and trigger nerve impulses. From here, the visual signal is transmitted to bipolar cells, which connect the photoreceptors to the ganglion cells. The signal leaves the ganglion cells in a large cluster at this area here called the optic disc, and then to the optic nerve, and finally, the brain. Did you know your eye has a blind spot too? The optic disc has no photoreceptors and so cannot process visual information, creating a natural blind spot. Our brain uses information from the surrounding photoreceptors and the second eye to fill in the gaps in the images, so we don't really notice our blind spot. We'll leave you with a fun fact. The complex network of blood vessels gives every retina a unique pattern, more so than a fingerprint. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button, click on subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch our next episode.